so what's up guys how do you do welcome to the program users tv in this class we're going to talk about the global namespace alias so global namespace alias okay so first of course we actually need to understand what a namespace is and we had said in the previous tutorial that namespace is used to organize code okay used to organize code okay into logical entities okay not physically but logically for example you can have two files of course i think of a namespace uh it does actually in a way the same role as a folder does now a folder of course in your file system now the difference is that for a folder a folder normally organizes your files into physical entities okay into physical files now the namespace it organizes your code into logical entities that means that for example you can have two files two classes okay two files separate classes okay and so in, in separate files and of course you have them in the same namespace even though they belong to separate files okay so they belong to actually the same thing so that's actually what a namespace is now in this class we're going to talk about uh, what a global uh, namespace alias is now of course we have right here come and say the global okay the global namespace is actually the root namespace okay that's basically what we mean it is the root namespace okay so this is this is actually the root namespace and of course for example if we say for example if we say something if we come right here and say something like this one we come and write global i'm really uh, okay we have right here global then we come and have something like system okay if you say something like this one this will always refer to the dot net namespace system okay i hope you guys are getting my point in fact you're going to see an example shortly what you're saying is that this particular global this is the root namespace okay so if you precede a namespace using this particular global keyword right here okay then it means that you're referring to of course the root the root namespace which is actually a dot net so for example if you may have like another class in your project your own custom class called system okay or of course system or even your own namespace now if you come and say global you proceed uh the system with this global then of course the compiler is going to infer that you're referring to the root namespace which of course is defined in the dot net framework okay so that's what we mean right there now in this right here we now need to come to an example and see okay so we can come right here let's start okay using then of course we're going to use the system namespace so we come right here using system in our you know this should be of course a semicolon using system then of course we come and then define a class so we come and say let me use the intelligence so class my class right there let me call it program given that of course we've already named our file program so class program then inside this one we're going to have another class okay so we come right here and public so we come right here and then class so we come have another public class called say system okay now once we have that one inside our program class we're going to have like a string okay so we can have like a string right here then have like a space craft then we come and say challenger okay so that's our space craft right there okay now what we can come and do we can then come 
create our main method so we can come right here and have static void then we have the main method okay so this is actually going to be our main method so inside the main method what you're going to do so we can just come turn this one of course into a constant so come right here have it as const okay because we want to be changing it now the next thing is actually let's come right here remove this one so we're going to go ahead remove it right here okay so what will come we'll now try to use the fully qualified name to come to refer to our system then you expect to get a console then we invoke our right train method okay and then we have right there the spacecraft now you can clearly see right here that you are getting an error okay it's giving us an error it's be why because of course if we have this system is going to think that we have it is this class that we're referring to okay no we were referring to the system okay our real intention is to actually use the system that is defined in the .NET framework but given that you already have this class right here we can't do that one okay so that's where the global namespace alias comes uh, and helps us now of course to work around this one all we need to do is to come right here and say we're going to use the global namespace alias which we've been talking about and have it that way okay you can see pack it now perfectly shows us exactly it's um, what we actually expect okay so we can come right there and in fact you can even go ahead and add another one so you can come on here and say global then we have the system okay dot console then dot read so yeah now we have that one now in fact our project should be runnable so we save then we click run right here to run our project so clearly you can see we have our challenger our stuff is working perfectly okay so of course this particular global namespace alias right here which is it's actually referring to the root namespace the root namespace in this case is the system so it's going to ignore the class our system class that we've defined right here and instead go to the root namespace okay and in fact intelligence also understands that one so that we have system dot then it will bring us console okay so when it sees the left identifier starting with the global of course the search for our right identifier will start at the global namespace okay now we're going to start searching from the global namespace and of which we're going to encounter the system namespace first okay so that's right there that's what we mean by the global namespace alias okay yeah is it right there so what we're going to do i think yeah that's it that's uh perfectly describes for us uh, so we we'll just come right here and then add an example okay so say here an example and then we add our example into our notes so first then we're going to have the cs then we'll have the example right here okay does it guys that's enough for us we've uh, explained the global namespace alas with an example go ahead subscribe to our channel programming users tv and like the video share it and take care i'll catch you in the next class